Mrs Foster, the three billy goats gruff. Good evening children, how lovely for you to join us tonight. I'm going to read to you the story of the three billy goats gruff. Now, some of you may know, but this story has a bit of a connection with me because my name actually is Billy and I got called Billy because my brother called my mum's bump when I was in his tummy, Billy Goat's Gruff, and that's where I got my name from. So snuggle on down and listen up. The three Billy Goat's Gruff. High in the mountains lived three Billy Goats. They were called Baby Gruff, Middle Gruff and Big Gruff. All went along an icy wind blew. And the billy goats ate only dry thistles and scraggly brambles. When at last the snow melted, they set off to the valley below. Down the mountain they trotted, trip trap, trip trap, to the old stone bridge. There on the other side of the river was the freshest, greenest grass they had ever seen. Oh, look at that scrummy grass. Can I go first, please? I'm so hungry, I could eat the whole field. And so, the billy goats lined up to cross the bridge. First baby gruff, then middle gruff, and then big gruff. But under the bridge, hiding in the shadows, was a big, ugly troll. He had a terrible, warty face. He had horrible, pointy ears. He had awful, stinky breath. And he liked to eat anyone who crossed his bridge. So when Baby Gruff skipped across the bridge with a trip trap trip trap, the troll sprang up from below, snarling and slobbering. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, Baby Gruff squealed. The littlest billy goat, I'm going to the meadow to nibble all the flowers. Oh no, you're not roared the troll. This is my bridge and I'm going to eat you up for breakfast with some freshly buttered toast. Mm. Baby Guff, Gruff trembled. Please don't eat me, he squeaked. I'm so little you wouldn't even taste me. Wait, for my older brother, Middle Gruff, he's bigger and much tastier. The troll licked his lips. Mmm, bigger, tastier, he cried. Then I'll eat him instead. Now be gone with you. And so Baby Guff, Gruff struck, scurried over the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Silly old troll, he giggled. Soon after, Middle Gruff clattered across the, the old stone bridge. Trippity trap, trippity trap. The troll leaped up once more, growling, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, Middle Gruff bleated. The next billy goat. I'm going to the meadow to munch all the grass. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll. I'm going to gobble you up for breakfast with a nice glass of milk. Don't be silly, cried Middle Gruff. I'm so bony, I'll make your teeth fall out. Wait for my older brother, Big Gruff. He's fatter and much yummier. The troll started to drool. Mmm, fattier, yummier, he shouted. Then I'll eat him instead. Now be gone with you. And so Middle Gruff trotted across the bridge. Trippity trap, trippity trap. Silly old troll, he tutted. Finally, Big Gruff thundered up to the bridge. Trip, trap, tromp. Rawr, roared the troll. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He was very, very hungry by now. Big Gruff stomped his hooves. It's me, he grunted, the biggest billy goat. The troll's tummy was rumbling and grumbling. Up he jumped, bellowing, Here I come to gobble you up! No, said Big Gruff, pointing to his big strong horns at the troll. Here I come! And he butted the troll right into the rushing river. Splash! Ah! Howled the troll as the river swept him far away. And so, Big Gruff thudded over the bridge to join his brothers in the meadow. Trip, trap, tromp. Silly old troll, he chuckled. All summer long, the three billy goats gruff crunched and munched the delicious green grass until they could eat no more. And they never, ever saw that silly old troll again. The end. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed your nighttime story. Good night, children.